I have to start with a serious matter. Is that all right, Mickey? Please. Because all this week we've been celebrating VP Day. Mm-hmm. Australia remembers. We've been honouring those who served in World War II, and that's great. I'm all for it. But while we're all saying hats off to those who fought 50 years ago, I hope we're not forgetting those who are currently serving on the front line, mm-hmm. those brave young diggers who are right now, heads down in the thick of it, up north defending you and I against those slimy little invaders mm. from the fictitious but still deadly island of Orange Land. Mm, hey, hey. That's right. I'm talking about Kangaroo 95, dismissed by many as a, a mere exercise. But try telling that to those thousands of young lads and lasses currently holed up in the trenches trying to do battle with a fictitious and therefore bloody hard to Mm. pin down enemy. Mm. At least we knew where Japan was. Try and find this orange land in an (laughs) atlas. It ain't there. These young kids, some of them barely out of short pants. They're confused. They're shell-shocked. It's pretty hard to get a bead on an enemy who's a figment of your imagination. (laughs) I'm telling you, pretend war is hell. And just because they don't exist, it doesn't mean the orange heads, as some of us like to call them, aren't as wily and resourceful as any foe we've faced Mm. in conflict. And I see in today's paper, the orange heads are being supported by Optus. (laughs) Well, all I can say is I'm glad this program's flying the Telstra flag because you won't find our very good friends at Australia's leading mobile communications network supplying the enemy. Absolutely. Those slip little OJs with free mobile phones. And what about their leader? Mm. Sydney primary school teacher and army reservist General Brian McGrath, or as I call him, the Butcher of Orange Land. (laughs) When this theoretical but bloody conflict finally ends, will he be brought forward to answer for his fictitious war crimes? (laughs) And what about the veterans, Mickey? Uh. Returning from their hypothetical hell to discover a real world that perhaps they don't recognise anymore. Where's their simulated Mm. ticker tape parade? Where is their (laughs) make-believe victory celebration? Mm. And I'm not just talking about those brave boys and girls who have taken on the juicy fruits up north and live to tell the tale. (laughs) I'm talking about those who every weekend Uh. go into battle Mm. against an imaginary enemy on splat ball and skirmish Mm. courses right up and down this imitation nation at war. To those who have to live with the scars, the unsightly paint stains and dye splattered Mm. pants of a war they didn't start. Lest we forget Australia, they've looked into the hypothetical heart of darkness and seen the pretend horror. The pretend horror.